Sports, I'm Jensen, welcome back to Minecraft. I just tried to beat Sans, I did not do it, and I had a bad time. So we are right to our hardcore Minecraft playthrough. I have been giving this one a good thing recently, and we have one mod installed. That is important to know. One mod is installed in this game, and you'll know exactly what it is, because it's pretty obvious. Uh, There's also a different world for anybody else who's kind of like um, a, a little bit new to... The frequency at which we die. All right, let's chop down some of these trees. We were chopping down a bunch of acacia trees last time we were playing. We need the wood because we like the wood. The wood is really pretty, and I want to make my base out of it. So we did lose a couple of worlds, but essentially what we ended up deciding was that... Is that going down? Oh, piss it is. Okay. I think we should probably see if we've got some kind of bed in our inventory. Would make a lot of sense if we have one, but we don't. We're going to need to rush back up to our base then. Okay, let's get this uh, tree knocked down. We'll pick up all of its goodies. And then we're going to sprint, like the clappers, all the way over here. We're setting up a base basically on the perch of this mountain right here. And the reason we're doing that is because it's got a really, really nice overlook. Oh, piss. It's going to be dark by the time we get there too. Uh, we should probably eat so that we restore enough HP to kind of like outlast all of the wankers that are going to be around the place. We do have a little bit of HP. We've got a little bit of armor as well. And we should be in a pretty good spot. In fact, it'd probably be easier if we just made a mad dash to this village over here. And then we... Ah, great. Look at all this. Okay, let's try and land in the water. Nice. We went to the village and slept in one of those beds. We'd be able to skip having to climb up the side of a precarious mountain. Let's go all the way over here. And I see it. Uh, there's a skeleton over there. They have been the bane of our existence since we've started this game. We died once to a creeper. We've died about three times to a skeleton. And it has been absolutely revolting. Has it not? I feel like it, it's kind of been a little bit revolting. Okay, coming along here. Is there a bed in here? Yes, there is. Someone's in it. Let's knock him out so we can sleep in it. We are, in fact, more important than this one villager. Nice. Pardon them, moi, Shut them in there. So, skeletons should be burning to death. We could probably actually go up top side. Nah, uh, we definitely need more logs. So, our base is basic. Oh, piss off. There's a skeleton right there. Go away! Leave us alone! Okay, I don't trust that fire, by the way. We got screwed over by the fire. This fire does significantly less damage than I was hoping. What'd he drop? Nothing. Ah, oh, well. That's fine. We probably also want to get ourselves a crossbow about as soon as possible. We want to start kind of like setting up a mining facility too, don't we? Uh, we're also going to have to plug, uh, get rid of all that dirt up there because I was using that as kind of like a fast dropper to get down from the base. And it seems like that's not what we want whatsoever. We actually want probably our own little system of getting down or up. What the hell was that? Rabbits. Gotcha. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, create a little path up here so that we don't have to... Ugh, hate that. Hate that there's a cavern right beneath our base, but it's not actually that bad. Let's go ahead, go up here. Crawl all the way this away. And we should be pretty close to the place we're setting up the base by this point. Or not. Actually, it's really hard to tell. Our base is just so high up off the ground. Uh, let's go ahead and just start busting out these blocks here. Oh, that's certain death. Go ahead and knock that one away. Off. A lot of risky jumps required to get to our base as well. So we're probably going to want to craft some kind of staircase that goes up here at some point. Probably makes the most sense, honestly. Go ahead, go around here. Get up onto this little ledge here. And around this corner should be our base. Here it is. Nice. So we were mining kind of into the side of this mountain right here. And we were kind of laying out the foundations, right? I do feel like we do not necessarily want it to jut out this far, though. We probably just want it to kind of like naturally face outwards like that. Let's go ahead and put some dirt there. And we'll start dismantling this big ugly thing that we've created. Hopefully Tree Capitator won't like see it as kind of like a log and force it to destroy the whole thing, killing us instantly. But I'm pretty sure Tree Capitator is, is fairly reliable as a mod. Okay. And should be pretty close to... Yes, we are. Excellent. So, probably want to start knocking all of this down. I don't know if it's going to tree capitate everything. Hopefully not. We could just see by knocking this. No, it, didn't, it did nothing. Good. I'm pretty happy now. I'm pretty happy that we're going to 
basically just look at these, knock them all down. We could go pick them up as well, but I think we should just start growing acacia trees on the roof of where we are setting up our base. That one can go down, that one can go down. There's also a bunch of resources sticking out of the side of this mountain, which could probably go and harvest them at some point too. All right, get rid of that one, and that one, and also this one, that one right there too, and this one, and we're knocking it all down. Excellent, knock that down, knock that down. All this purple stuff can go. We've got lots and lots of the Sakura wood, so we probably don't care too much about it. Gotta be said. Well, I don't care too much about it. We'll go in here, and we'll start knocking these down. Now, in this session, I do kind of want to get some automation set up, and I'm not talking about the automation in the sense that we kind of want to sort out um, a bunch of blocks and villages and stuff, but I do have a lot of plans for redstone contraptions in my head that I do want to test out. And I kind of have to, you know, actually play the game to do so. Let's start knocking all of this down as well. Good. Excellent. Knock all of that out. Perfect. Get all of this knocked out too. Nice. We're going to be shaving off of here essentially until we can get access to the ceiling that we are going to make. So I want to make kind of like an auto smelter. I want to make like a an automatic uh, meat cooker as well. Yep. That's fine. Shave all of this off right here because we don't necessarily need it. Perfect. Get all of this down. Whoops. Shovel's gone. Do we have another? No. But we can make one because we have plenty of cobblestone somewhere. A uh, couple of sticks. We'll make like two of them, I suppose. Boop, there we go. And we'll start shaving this off. I know it's kind of ambitious for a first base to make it so gigantic, but there is a reason for it. We, we kind of want all of the space we could possibly muster right at the beginning. Okay, we'll begin kind of like setting up along here. Okay, that torch is gone. Probably going to have to remember that for the very near future. Because we want the base to be poking out this way, don't we? So let's kind of like lay out the line of which we want to start placing this. Going to grab those dirt blocks because they are kind of handy to have. I'll get rid of this bed too because I think it's actually in the way of where we want to start placing these logs right here. Okay. Whoops, one of them sideways. That's absolutely fine. We can just change that. Whoops, another one sideways. Again, absolutely fine. Uh, put all of these down. Now, we are going to jut these off of the edge as well, so we probably have to be a little bit cautious with where we're placing them from now on. Come over here. Pack up these. Uh, need one more. Good. Now we kind of like crouch and place these kind of pointing outwards from here, right? And we want to be quite generous with how far out it juts. I know it's going to create shadows and stuff beneath us, but it should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. We kind of want to be able to see this uh, little village right here. This disgusting little valley, honestly. It's kind of disgusting, but, you know, we'll find somewhere eventually that we kind of like a little bit better. Okay, let's go sideways from here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. That's probably wide enough, honestly. Probably start recessing it back into the mountain right here. Uh, this is a floor, by the way, as well, so. A little bit. A little bit suspicious of whether or not we actually have enough for what we need. Enough space, I mean. It should be enough, actually. Okay, we'll start knocking down some of the acacia trees that we planted. And then we'll start planting those saplings again. We should be fine. We should be in a really, really good spot. Actually, we've already planted a bunch of the acacia saplings. We can just uh, knock these ones down. Should be A-OK. -okay. Knock that down. Knock this one down. Great. Pick up all of this. Thank you, tree cap data. Love that. Let's go ahead and knock this one down next. Excellent. Okay. And this one is next. We're probably going to break our axe against it. Uh, it doesn't actually have enough to knock down the whole tree, unfortunately, so there we go. It's done. What if we just knock? Yeah, okay, that works. Good. So it doesn't really matter if our X has very low durability, does it? Oh my gosh. What do you mean, oh my gosh? Did you just see the tree capitator mod? We have been waiting for years? For what? Oh, uh, trees work normally now. Sorry, I didn't see the rest of that chat. 
It is physics. This is a new update. This is not, um, this is not vanilla. There is one mod installed on our world. It's called Tree Capitator. It's a quality of life that I just simply don't want to live without. And so we have it installed in the game. It is the only mod that I will be installing for these vanilla hardcore playthroughs, by the way. And the only reason I'm doing it is because it, it's a huge waste of time to like fish around in the bushes for lots and lots of uh, logs that stop the leaves from despawning. Do you have a tree mod? Yeah, that's it. That's literally it. That's the only thing. I just kind of like, I, I wanted to get through the early game of, you know, punch tree, get resources. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. Because we're going to be doing the early game a lot. And I know punching trees is probably not the most riveting part of Minecraft. We want to skip a, a little bit faster through. Is it? I'm going to smack this ass. Nice. Take that ass. Nice. I dropped a little bit of leather. Perfect. There's another ass we can smack right here too. Good. I do love that kind of like drop shot attack technique that um, I think it was Gunner told me about in a previous stream. Very, very good technique. Significantly different to the Minecraft that I used to play on PlayStation, which was uh, just, it was the crappy old bedrock version. He knew one of the term meanings. What does that mean? You smack that? Yeah, I smack that ass. I smack that ass. Always smack that ass. Unless it's IRL, in which case it's uh, probably going to land you in jail. So maybe don't do that. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. I think the tree capitator mod actually does consume hunger. We can probably see, right? Because nothing should degrade our hunger yet. All right. It didn't degrade our hunger there whatsoever. What about here? No. Okay, so the tree capitator mod doesn't actually take up hunger. I feel like that should be a trade-off, right? It, it should take up, a, like, a bar of hunger if you tree capitate something. Not like the entire... B! Oh, I'm sorry, B. I'm super sorry. Oh, poor B. I feel bad now. We have so many saplings, by the way. We don't know what to do with them anymore. We could probably use them as kind of like a fuel source. All right, the sun seems to be going down, so we might want to... Think about sleeping or something like that. Oh, poos. Okay, the axe is about to break. There it goes. That's fine. We'll go back to base. We'll regroup. We will sleep. Actually, before we do that, we have so many acacia saplings. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a big balls move where we just kind of like plant them in every single spot so that when we cut one of them down, another one grows in its place because that seems to be what is actually happening. Uh, we actually need some torches as well. We haven't torched up our base either, which is a little bit fiddly. You know what, actually? We should have the bed on us. We do. Perfect. Done. We're sleeping through the night on top of this gigantic hill. That's hilarious. Excellent. And now the bed is ours. Perfect. Let's get that off of our hot bar. So we do have another stone axe that we can use to knock this one down. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'm pretty sure we placed down all the saplings, right? We have a stack of cherry sea saplings. That's excessive. I don't know if I like that, actually. That's probably too many. We want to set up some of these saplings kind of like around a skylight. I think that was my plan. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Oops, sorry. There we go. I drop shot at him. Drop assassinated him. Eagle screams. Time we go. Okay, the spray paints. You have a great time. I know we're going to take damage. That's fine. We'll get it back very, very quickly. Let's go ahead and just shovel off all of this dirt too because we don't want it here. We do want this torch though. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll knock all of this off of the ledge. Great. Bro, I thought it was Undertale. Is it, uh, is it still marked as Undertale in the stream settings? Because I can change that right this second. We were having a little bit of a go at... Oh no, it's definitely changed. We were having a go at Sans earlier, but unfortunately um, he's kind of killed my love for the game. Like, it's a really good game, and I, I kind of want to preserve as much of that love that I still have for it, at least until I finish making the game theory, and then I'll go and bang my head against the brick wall that is Sans, quite frankly. Uh, he's not fun. He's not fun, and it's probably not fun to watch either. Okay, I will go back to the Sans part. Uh, you can do it, you damn well, please. That's, uh, you, it's, it's, your, it's your eyes. You choose what you see. Okay, so now let's start knocking some of this down. We probably want to torch up these corners over here, right? So that we don't have any kind of gremlins spawning up here. All right, we're playing hardcore, so we probably shouldn't be sprinting along this one block wide area, but, you know, such is life sometimes, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and put that one there, and we'll mine this out and put that there. So until we start digging out the rest of this, 
It's going to be a little bit of a waiting game to get a cage of logs. Let's really start digging it out now. Why not? We still need resources too. We need a lot of iron for kind of like an auto smelter. And we're going to need redstone for some of the automation that I have cooking up in my, in my brain. In my stupid person brain. All right, good. Knock all of that down. Wonderful. Actually, we also have to shave off this too, don't we? One, two, three. Uh, I don't know how high we want to shave off though. Maybe about that yay high, possibly. And we want to get all of this out of the way. Let's just dig all of this stuff out. We don't want it here. And if we find any like ores in the mountain as we're kind of mining, that would be bonus profit. All right, good. Mine all of this out here. Awesome. Oh, I just got new recipes. I think I just got some bone meal. Just unlock like white dye or something like that, I think. Excellent. Right. Next little area to shave. Our shovel broke. Do we have another? Yes, we do. Perfect. Man, I'm so forward thinking. Excellent. Come all the way along here. We're also going to mine out a lot of the stone as well. Is this Java or Bedrock? We started on Bedrock, but we found that it was uh, kind of like not the one that Microsoft and Mojang have been putting all of the updates and stuff into. So we moved over to Java. And I got to say, Java... <laughs> With no uncertainty is better. It's 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 just a better experience in just about every single way. Right, let's start shaving this off. It's just better. It's just so much better. I, I literally cannot say just how, how much better it is. Although in saying that, I did play a lot of Bedrock on the PlayStation. So a lot of the kind of like schematics for automatic cookers and stuff and... All that crap that I know about are quite condensed. I'll probably be making those uh, because on the Bedrock version, if you kind of like make a redstone circuit and it extends out past the chunk that it's in, it'll just fail to it'll, it'll just fail to work if you leave the area. Bedrock's better. Oh yeah, you can definitely say that. Um, but as I said when I started up the Java, it's an opinion. I definitely preferred uh, Bedrock simply because of the amount of experience I have in it. And I already own a bunch of stuff from the uh, very seamless store that is in Bedrock. But it doesn't get the same love. It doesn't get the same love and attention as the Java version. Not even remotely close. Okay, good. Shave out all of this. Perfect. And we could probably actually start layering the floor down here. I'm probably going to use slabs, acacia slabs most likely. We'll go up topside and we'll see if any of the trees have spawned. I play on bedrock. Bedrock has a game-changing feature. Okay. <laughs> you tell me what it is and I'll tell you why Java's better. Because from my experience, everything that bedrock has, Java just has in a bigger um, form, essentially. Like, I used to, I also used to play on Bedrock as well. Because I was a PlayStation guy. I used, to, I used to play this on Bedrock. I've only just started playing it on, um, on the Java version uh, for this YouTube playthrough, actually. This is my first time actually playing it. I had a little, like, fiddle with Tinker's Construct and stuff, the mods, on Ticket. But I didn't actually play very much past there. I just kind of had everything set up, and that was basically it. All right, let's knock that one down. And also knock this one down. Do you like individually fishing around in the leaves of trees above the ground to kind of like uh, get all the leaves to despawn? Is, is that one of your favorite parts of the game? Because there's a fix. <laughs> there's a fix in the old Java version called uh, Tree Capitator. Get rid of that. Nice. I feel like as soon as we give the trees room, they grow. If we just kind of like put them all in a giant, a giant patch right here, this kind of does function exactly as we want it to. White wool can go off our hot bar. Acacia saplings. Okay, let's pack out this little kind of burrow, I suppose, that we've got going here. Get rid of that flower. Uh, put all of this down here. Nice. I was hoping to make like a giant two by two tree of acacia, but it seems like that's not actually how this functions whatsoever. It seems like it actually does work if we just start dumping all the saplings down. All right, got three more that we can just put right here in sequence. Excellent. Oh, would you look at that? Another tree. Excellent. Let's go ahead and knock this down because we need the wood. Perfect. And I'm pretty much happy with what we have. Let's go ahead and knock that one down too. I do really like these secure saplings. I feel like they should be really rare though. Uh, there, there's heaps of them around here. And it was much nicer when they're just, well, there was only like two in a gigantic area that we were exploring. 
There is decay arrows, and you can put a potion under cauldron and put tipped arrows in to get infinite tipped arrows. Really? That, that is pretty cool, actually. Although, likely, if you can do it in the Bedrock version, you can also do it in the Java version. Java version is basically, like, five versions ahead of Bedrock at any given time, and it also gets patches. <laughs> Unlike every other one that I've played. Uh, let's take all of these acacia logs, we'll turn them into planks, and... Oh, probably should dump out some of our inventory, actually. Like, some of this dirt can go in here. Cherry logs, uh, we're probably going to use those as fuel, to be quite honest, because they'll smell really nice when we burn them. This white wool we'll go put in there as well. All these cherry saplings and go in there too. We haven't found any cherries. Uh, pointed dripstone, we might use in the future, but not just yet. Raw mutton can definitely go in there. Don't want that on our hotbar whatsoever. Acacia sapling can go in there too. We've got a smithing table that we're never really going to use, I don't think. Okay, well, we've got a lot of planks. We can start crafting these slabs now. Same with dice. Nope, it's bedrock exclusive. Official modding API as well. That's, that's not Bedrock exclusive. Official modding API is like a, um, that's a microtransaction thing. They, they integrate it into Bedrock, so you have to pay for it. It's all free on Java, which is what I was saying. You don't have to pay for any of the mods on Java. You have to pay for them on Bedrock. Okay, good. Got a lot of planks here. Want to turn those into slabs. One. Okay, good. We have so many slabs now. That's probably actually going to fill out our entire construction, right? I think it will. Yeah. Curse Forge isn't official. No, but it's, it's definitely updated more than all of the other officially supported uh, Minecraft stuff. Now, the reason I use slabs here, and I'm not going to recess them one down to stop monsters spawning on them, because we're going to light up our... Oh, no, we don't want these here. We want glass here, don't we? We want glass. Okay, get rid of these. We want glass all around here. We want slabs basically from here... Outwards, I think. Yeah. I also don't use uh, Curse Forge. Then there's Character Creator. Full button key mouse controls. Dude, what are you talking about? All of this is in Java. I am literally using a custom character right now. Look at this. I've made me in a, in a custom skin creator. This is me. I think what you're referring to is the skins that you can buy on the store. Like the Aardvark. I religiously used the Aardvark when I was playing it. Okay, well, uh, put all of the platforms out here. Excellent. Good. I don't think having, like, half a, half a block worth of a gap beneath the house is necessarily going to be a bad thing. I don't think. Do there, 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 there. Yeah, we are going to glass up the rest of that, too. There and there. There and there. Like, I was definitely in the same boat because I'd already sunk some money into the... Oops, don't want that one there. I sunk some money into the Java edition when I was playing it with friends, but ultimately, now that I've been playing this for longer than a few hours, it's so much better in just every single way, shape, and form. Okay, so we'll get some more slabs. Good. Uh, the sun's going down, so we're probably going to have to think about getting ourselves some sleep to skip through the night. I think tomorrow we'll go and get some resources down in a mine somewhere. So we may want to get ourselves some weaponry. I already hear a zombie. All right, let's get this uh, axe off our hopper. Put a bed down. Whoops. Put a bed down. We'll sleep in it. Ooh. Yeah, Java has literally everything that you could want for and more. It's just, it's, it's like the difference between PC and console uh, at its core, right? One of them offers you the ability to press a single button on a controller that's not attached to the TV. And then in 30 seconds, you either have a game or a movie up in front of you. But you lose a lot of the element of control. Uh, Java and Bedrock is exactly the same. The only reason I like Java more is because I'm used to it. I mean, it, it, that would just be down to personal preference, right? Pretty, pretty standard personal preference. I don't think there's any better one. There's like the one that you want to play more, and there's the one that you don't want to play more. Uh, I wanted to play the Java edition for the... YouTube playthrough that we're doing. Jesus, that's loud. It's got to be on the other side of that wall right there. We're probably going to have to kit up before we go in there, to be quite honest. That's really annoying. But, you know, if it's something we have to deal with, we'll deal with it. Probably actually also fill all of this crap up too, I suppose, with cobblestone. Let's do that, because we're going to have to recess into it regardless. Get some cobblestone, replace it with these sticks here. And I'm going to patch all of this crap here in with the cobbles. Because we're not going to see under it. Good, good, good. 
And we already actually want all of this mined out too because we are going to be building our base into the mountain like a dwarf. Yes. Excellent. So now we probably need to get a bunch of sand, right? How, how wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ah, we don't want that even, do we? Is that even? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It is even. We don't want that. We don't want an even base. We want odd numbers. We're all about those odd numbers. Okay, we've still got a stack of acacia logs. That's awesome. Let's go ahead, crouch, so we don't die when we fall off of this ledge right here. Which is probably going to be how the uh, hardcore run ends. And we'll start dumping these down here. I thought I really liked the Bedrock version initially. Um, turns out I, I like it because I was playing it with friends. That's why I really liked the Bedrock version. That's what my friends were playing. And I didn't really like the idea of just being a, a lonely man. Okay, let's get our axe back out. And then we will start knocking these blocks off of the internals. Good, 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 good. All of this can go to hell for all I care, which is what I'm going to call everything below where we are. Perfect. I'm going to pick up a couple of these logs, I suppose. I mean, there's no harm in having extras, but we are basically just now farming infinite logs at this point. Put that there, that there, that there, that there. Excellent. Wonderful. Now we need glass. We need lots and lots of glass. And we need a way up here, too. Maybe we want to extend this out, actually. Just a little bit further. This is kind of... Yeah, okay. Let's, let's do that. I hope I'm crouched. We're about to find out. Whoa. Yeah, we're crouched. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to expand this out just by a couple more blocks. And by a couple, I mean, like, Seven? There we go. That's probably a bit too long, actually. Let's maybe go two back inwards, and then we'll start placing logs coming in from here. I like this. Oddly enough, it's a good idea. But what is a good idea? Putting glass on the uh, on the floor here so we can see everything underneath it. Those are my vibes. Ah, perfect. That lines up just exactly where we want it to line up. I don't think we'll be able to reach that other log there. Uh, no, we cannot, but we can place that one there, and this kind of place from there as well. Excellent. Now I am going to knock this torch off, because it's literally going to be on something that we are dismantling. Uh, let's go ahead and just start placing a bunch of these torches down now. One there, one just in the middle of the floor, sure. One here, and we'll place one right at the end of this here walkway that we've kind of made for ourselves. We'll knock these two down, because we don't want them there. Nice! And now we're going to do this kind of like middle lane here that we don't really want. Knock that off. Knock that off. We could probably just kind of like make like a crisscross pattern out of planks. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. Okay, good. Excellent. We'll knock this one down as well. I'm going to crouch now because I'm pretty sure we're reaching the end. And I don't want to fall off the ledge. I don't want to die building. That's not how I want to die. It was a pun. At the time I said it, you had talked about builds, you have odd numbers. Yeah, you should always have odd numbers. Unless they add, like, double doors into the game. I know you can make, like, double doors by placing two doors down. But unless there's, like, multi-block uh, furniture and stuff like that, always have it odd. So that you can kind of maximize the distance between both ways if you're trying to enter the house. That's a belief of mine. Min-maxing, essentially. Okay, let's mine a little recess into this cavern here. Good, 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 good. I don't know how high we're taking this roof. How high are we, are we taking this roof? Let's see. What is that, like, three higher? Yes, okay. We need to mine three up. We just lost our shovel. That's fine. We can make a bunch more of them. One, two, three, four, five, four, six. And we need some cobblestone. One, two, three. Done. Three shovels. Let's start mining out our little location here. A little locale. A triple door would be fun. It would, but it would look like absolute ass, wouldn't it? You'd probably actually just put a, um, a nice little post in between the doors. And then you'd get a triple door of some sort. It'd look like a French door, but it'd still be kind of ass in application, wouldn't it? Uh, let's start mining up to the height that we want to stop at here. 
Man, those zombies will not shut up. <laughs> I'm literally being annoyed out of my home. Okay, good. Done, 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 done. Maybe we'll go spelunking. Maybe we'll go and torch up all of the things that we don't like about this place really shortly. Get it all out of the way. Okay. Grab all of that crap. Gonna keep on mining up to the maximum height that we want this place to be at. So that we don't really lose it. Because it's really, really easy to kind of like lose height maps. When you're doing gigantic scale projects like this. Especially when you don't have anything marking the top of the roof there. Alright, and good, that's one area shaved off. I kind of want to get rid of most of the stuff that's down here. Simply because it'll allow us to have some more light going through. I'm going to put this way up there, if I can, if I can reach it. Please. Or not. That's fine. Okay. A little bit of a hole there, but, uh, I mean, who, who doesn't like a bit of a hole? Okay, dig these out three at a time. Excellent. And now we're going to keep on shaving through here. Good. Get that one and one more upwards. Shave all of that off. Excellent. We'll get all of this as well. I don't really see any dirt that we can replace with these slabs. We could actually just leave the stone here because it doesn't look bad. Looks kind of nice, actually. Did you beat Sans? No, I did not beat Sans. I got um, I got frustrated with the fight and I gave up. I tried to beat him for about an hour and a half. Uh, and then I just got really bored of the whole game and started losing my love for it, honestly. Um, I'm probably not going to go back to it. I'm not going to beat him. I'm just going to uh, finish off the game theory and then basically leave the game behind in the past where everybody else has left it. It's a real shame as well. It would probably be so easy to kind of like update the combat in Undertale to be Deltarune-esque. Because Deltarune combat, that was so fun to play. Undertale, not particularly fun to uh, have to deal with. Got to be, got to be said. Weird choice. Weird choice with all the uh, the jank stuff and to not update it with the, the same mechanics as they have in Deltarune. But it's not my place. It's not my place to critique Toby Fox and his choices. I mean, he's probably too busy anyway to implement it into Undertale. Since he's too busy to kind of like talk to his uh, music publisher and say, hey, stop copyright striking everybody that uploads videos. It's killing the game. Because that is also something that I'm have to, having to deal with too. Okay, good. So, probably going to start shaving up into here. I'm just going to start shaving out this little chunk right here. I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be anything above it. it. Doesn't really look like it. Looks like it's just going to be a flat drop, which is okay. No love lost from me. Good. One, two, three. And we'll keep on going through. All right. Come all the way through here. Let's see how far along we are. Okay, we're not really that far through at all, to be quite honest. Let's go maybe four more into this hole right here. And hopefully no enemies are going to spawn. Okay, good. One, two. Get rid of that. All right, where does this come out at? Almost. So close. Just one more area to shave. All the way down here. Yes, perfect. Good. Okay, we've almost hollowed out enough for the foundations of a base. I like this. We will kind of like, I think we'll put some giant support beams kind of like coming up from the ground floor. Good, good. We probably have a lot of acacia planks that we could probably put down here as well, which would be awesome. Good, 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 good. And there is a reason we're kind of sitting up here. We are sitting up here because there's a village down south side and I want to be able to see them. As somebody pointed out in the last stream, much like a super villain watching over a city from his lair. That's precisely what we want to do. All right, good. We're probably gonna have to torch this place up again. We've knocked down a couple of torches already. And we need sand. We, we still actually need a lot of sand. We should probably start making the glass before we start focusing on building the rest of the base because otherwise there's a giant hole here that we can just fall into. Uh, let's put a bed down on the ground right here and we'll go ahead and sleep in it. Hopefully nothing will spawn. Hard to say though. All right, good. Excellent. Take this bed, put it back in our inventory, and now we could probably actually start mining out all of the crap that we don't want here. I'm indecisive as to whether or not I want to keep the stone as a as a floor. But we are gonna need a pretty high base. 
unfortunately. The reason we're going to need a pretty high base is we're going to get some automation set up in here. This is the base where the automation is going to be set up at. We're also going to need a gigantic staircase. At some point. All right, good. Missed a bit of dirt over here. That's absolutely fine. We'll shovel that up. Probably didn't need to shovel it necessarily, but we did anyway. Let's go ahead and start picking all of this stuff out now because it's in the way. Good. Get rid of that one. And these can go as well. Maybe we do go down and get sand. Maybe. Okay, we'll go ahead and break all of this. Good, 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 good. Excellent. And next little lane to shave off right here. There's a little bit of iron right here as well. So uh, it's pretty cool that we're going to be getting some iron just by making our base. Okay, you know what? We're actually going to go ahead. We're going to go down. We're going to get some sand because we actually do really need sand. And we're probably going to do a little bit of a stupid and, and kind of like go off of this ledge right here. I know it's probably not the best idea to be doing this in hardcore, but, you know, say la vie, win in Rome, as they say. Anything in there? Hopefully not. <laughs> I'm going past. Ow. So if there is something coming after us, probably going to burn up in the sun. Now, I do remember there being a little skeleton in there. We could probably actually block this off while there's kind of like nothing goose guarding it. Because I know that we don't really want this cavern open whatsoever. If we fall in here, it's basically a death sentence. So we're just going to wall this off, honestly. Do a little bit of housekeeping around the base. Good. Block that. Plug it all up. Good, 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 good. And we'll get all of this dirt placed down like so. Nice. Good. Almost done. Then we can go back to uh, regular gaming. One line left right here. Bye-bye, monsters. Okay, they're not going to be coming back out of that hole anytime soon. Wonderful. So now that we're here, we probably want to go up this away and try and find this. What the hell is this? Try and floating penis. <laughs> it's even got a ball sack. Weird. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue downwards. Nice. And we got lots and lots of sand here. We also got some bamboo, which is perfect. I kind of want to dig it out from inside of this little river here. Because not only is it faster, but it kind of, it doesn't look as bad. We, we aren't kind of like scarring the natural landscape by doing this. And we could probably also get some, uh, what would you call it, gravel with this method as well. But we're not going to. Okay, we'll come up here next. And I'll start digging out around here because it's kind of weird that there is sand here. Good. Get all of this stuff just kind of out of the way. Don't know why I'm going from top to bottom, Sand Falls. I know that intimately, because I've played a little bit of Minecraft in my time. Okay, good. All of this can go. We are probably going to realistically need about three stacks of sand. Okay, so if we kind of like shave all of this off, I know that when it links up over there, we should have a perfect kind of like infinite water generator, right? Like right here. That'll fix, or not. My mistake. Okay, let's get rid of this uh, kind of like subterranean sand now. Okay. We've broken our shovel. That's absolutely fine. Not particularly interested in uh, kind of like replacing it whatsoever. We just don't want to be in the water when we're mining up all of the sand, essentially. Okay, let's come up this way. We're still kind of like in this weird river. I Oh my god, that squid scared the hell out of me. Jesus. All right, we've got a stack and a bit of sand. Probably need significantly more than this. We want to get out of this water. There is some sand over here that we could probably filch. I like the idea of fil filching the sand. I also don't know if that's seaweed right there. It could be seaweed. I think we can cook that and eat that. I seem to remember that from somewhere else. Oh, piss off. Seriously? <laughs> we found a cavern hidden by the sand. Great. Love that. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. And hopefully we won't fall into that annoying-ass little pit again. We'll just kind of, like, keep it walled off, I suppose. Okay, that's going to be pulling, and now we want to link that one up. Excellent. 
Let's start going from the depths now. Let's start going from here. We'll go subsurface. Oh, there's also some clay right there as well. So we could probably also make some terracotta. Is the sun going down? No. Sun is fine. We are just kind of like knee height in the water. Getting just an absolute ass load of sand. This is literally Luke Skywalker's nightmare. Okay, good. Get some of this stuff as well. And then we'll kind of like just swim through and collect it all uh, really efficiently. Do we have a shovel? No, we don't. How much sand have we got? Almost two stacks. We'll keep. We'll get three. Just kind of like make sure that we have enough. Good. That should kind of like finish off a stack at least. Almost a stack. Okay, we'll start mining out these ones. Hello there, squid. Could you piss off, please? I am trying to scar your natural landscape, your home, I suppose you could call it. There we go. We've got a third stack uh, getting made up now. I'm trying to scar your homeland for resources. Okay, get some of this stuff. How much have we got? All right. Let's go and get some from over here next. We'll just get up on this land so we can run over here as well. Good. We'll get the subsurface stuff. Kind of shave it off from, from the edges first. You can probably just, like, stand on top of them and uh, shave them off like this as well. Collect them as we go so that we don't need to swim through here afterwards. Whoops, that was close. And this one's next. And this one here can get shaved. And this one as well. This one next. Good. Getting a lot of resources. Getting a lot of resources. Okay. We'll go ahead and do it. We're doing it. We are literally doing it. We are doing the thing. We're in hardcore Minecraft and we're actually doing the thing. I also feel a little bit safe in the water because I seem to remember that there's no uh, creeper damage in the water. Okay, sun's probably... Oh, sun's... It's midday. Perfect. Awesome. So we are not low on time at all whatsoever. We can get three stacks of sand by hand. It's not too much of an issue. All right, we'll go ahead and knock those down. Keep on coming on through. And we'll shave off all of these right here. Nice. Get all of this. We've almost got a stack. We just need to finish off the 58 that we have in our hand. Up to a stack and then we should be basically golden. Any more? Oh yeah, there's actually heaps more here. Go ahead, get into the water and we'll swim through this. We'll spin through. We won't breathe while we do it. We'll just get all that sand. And then we'll go back up home. Or we could just kind of like lurk beneath the surface like Jason Voorhees. Actually going to go ahead, grab some of this sugar cane. And we'll plant it back down right beside itself. There and there. Good. That should grow over time. Awesome. Right. So, now that we have all of the glass and it's raining, perfect. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little bit of a furnace. We need iron. We need lots and lots of iron, and I'm going to probably make an auto smelter first with the iron, because we do have some iron armor that we found, so that's not an issue for us whatsoever. We need to go this side, don't we? Then we need to come up from, from beneath. We want to uh, scale this, this mountain right here. All right, let's start scaling. Good, good, good. I should probably eat, actually, before we do anything else. We still have some of this bread, the soggy bread, which is now wet from the rain. Uh, fill up our health a little bit. I don't think we lost any health, but, you know, it never hurts to actually have health. Let's go ahead and keep on shearing up here like a mountain goat. I'm getting rid of this block right here, because I know it's going to sandbag us again in the future, every now and then. Probably want to just share a nice path up here, to be quite honest. Like this one. Nope, we already sheared something in here. Oops. Fell off of there. And I'm coming up here next. Good. Make a straight, nice little path. We don't need to come up here necessarily, but I am. Good. And I'm coming up here next. I also don't have auto jump on, so I'm able to make like really, really fiddly kind of little parkour jumps. It's quite handy. It's very handy, actually. Right, so now that we have all of this sand, we're actually going to start cooking it in the furnace. And I know we probably don't have a lot of resources to like make in charcoal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this cooked mutton. Sure, I'll take that and we'll put it over there. 
We probably want to make more charcoal, don't we? So I'm going to go into this chest right here, and we're going to make a stack of cherry logs into charcoal. And then we're going to recycle it. Then we're going to go over to this crafting bench. Okay, it is actually uh, sundown, so let's go ahead and put our bed down. We'll sleep in the rain, which is probably not very responsible of us, but, you know, it's what we're currently doing. Good. Let's go ahead, get this white bed down. I don't want that iron there too, but it's not much iron, and we don't need it just yet. How much has we got? Nothing necessarily. We probably want to get that bed off of our hotbar. Let's go ahead and make another furnace. Another, actually, let's make three more furnaces so that we can basically put all three stacks of the sand where we need it to be. Now I'm going to stick this just over here because it is convenient to do so. This is not going to be the final place where we put all the furnaces. Go ahead and stick all the sand into each one of these furnaces. And we're also going to need a fuel source, too. Got a lot of sticks, actually. Probably don't want to use those sticks, though. We could probably use planks. We could probably use cherry wood planks while we're waiting for the gigantic amount of resources to burn into charcoal. All right. This one right here. You can get a full stack of planks. This one right here, full stack of planks. This one right here, tiny bit of planks. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. That's the motto here. Okay, so that should be cooking up very nicely. I am going to start maybe mining into this little cavern right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get some shovels made up because we've got enough resources. And then we're going to start uh, kind of like clearing out this area. Got lots of dirt too. Don't need all of that dirt, quite frankly. Get rid of all those acacia planks. Well, kind of like tidy up our inventory a little bit while we're here. We've got 12 apples, which is pretty good. We're, so, okay, so I know how to make an automatic melon farm, and we're definitely going to be making one of those. I just need a piston, and we should need a couple of other things, and then we will be A-OK. -okay. All right. Bread, acacia logs. What do we need? We needed, not the furnace, we needed a couple of shovels, and we also probably realistically want another pickaxe too, don't we? Go ahead and just make another couple of stone pickaxes in advance, because we are going to need them. Done. All right, let's start mining in. Let's start with this uh, iron right here. Maybe there's going to be a really big pocket next to it. Oh, there is a bit of a pocket. Oh, nice. I like this. Holy hell. Wow, that is actually a lot of iron. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's go ahead and mine all of this out. We won't get too greedy with just getting resources, just in case there's something on the other side of that wall. Let's start mining this out here. Should be zombies on the other side of this wall here, so we're going to have to be a little bit cautious as well. All right, good. Mine all of this out. Got a lot of iron here. Wow. God roll much. Good. We'll knock down some of the stone. Knock down some of this stone as well. Oops. That pickaxe is broken. Good thing we just crafted a bunch more. Get the stone. Get the stone. Get this iron. Get this iron here too. Excellent. Now, how high are we going with this? Probably one block higher, right? So we want to mine out all of this. And then we want to get our shovel and we want to also start mining out all of this dirt that we do not want in the way. Good, good. Get rid of that and this here. And wait for the iron first because maybe when one of the smelters are done, we could probably cook that up next. Okay, put all of this through here. Very good, very good, very good. All of this up this way. Perfect. So that's going to be basically where the roof runs along. Probably want to start uh, marking out the roof, actually. We've got enough kind of like acacia logs to start marking it out at least a little bit. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Let's go ahead and just knock this down. Now we will do it again. Great. Probably going to have to move this chest realistically in the very near future. I love how this is going to be like jutting out of the side of the mountain. I, do, I actually love this. This was such a good idea. Oh, we got heaps of room. Heaps of room. We're going to run out of logs before we run out of floor space. Don't, oh, we're going to knock that down right now. Get rid of it. Boop, got it. And now we're going to stick it there. We didn't even make it to the uh, dangerous part of the, of the base. We can probably go up topside and start getting some more acacia wood while we wait for all of that stuff to cook, like all that glass and such. Okay, good. Coming up here. Hopefully there's no creepers hiding out under these trees. Doesn't look like there are any. Excellent. Probably want to start getting rid of a lot of these cherry trees too, because they could be creating mob spawns. Ah, piss. We're running pretty low on this axe. In fact, it might break in the next swing. Or this swing here. Or not. Oh, wow. It's actually 
Never mind, it's broken now. We didn't have enough to get through it. All right, we'll go through with this iron axe more stuff. Whoa, my God. Look at all of this wood. Oh, I love that so much. I love tree capitator. Oh, that works so well. I love it. This is exactly what we wanted. Okay, we don't have enough durability on our axe to kind of get through the rest of this. So let's pick up the resources we do have. And then we'll kind of like, just get out of here, I suppose. Okay, there's a couple of logs over there. How many logs have we got? 60. That is beautiful. Let's get ourselves a bunch of the stone axes and just kind of like leave them around here next. Probably start, we probably didn't want to use this iron axe at all for the actual lumbering. Probably wanted to use maybe a stone axe. This one is probably better for combat or one hitting mobs. So maybe we won't be doing that again. Okay. Let's go ahead and mine some of this out. Pretty sure the furnaces are still cooking. Yep, they're still cooking. What about these ones? This one probably ran out of, it did run out of materials. Uh, here, take uh, an entire stack of slabs, acacia slabs. You're welcome. Don't say I never did anything for you. Okay, let's go ahead and crouch on here so that we don't fall off the ledge like an idiot. And go ahead and place all of these down next. Great. Perfect. Put all of this down here. Should be coming to the end of the route about now. Yep, there it is. So that can go out that way. Yes, it can. And now we want to curve it in this way, don't we? I'm going to frame it in acacia wood. I'm going to frame the base in acacia wood. Uh, we're probably also going to use the acacia planks realistically to make the, the flooring. Right, uh, that is in line, perfect. And next right here. I think we're just going to have enough to like frame up this and maybe get some logs on the end. But we also kind of want to frame it up from below as well. So it doesn't look like it's just sticking out of the side of a mountain. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So now that that's out of the way, we can start digging out the rest of here. It's probably going to be kind of tricky to dig in from this area here, though. Maybe... Uh, maybe we do actually just dig in through this area. Yeah, I think we probably should. And then we'll just torch it up if we have any torches. We don't have any torches whatsoever. We should have a bunch of coal, though, somewhere. Where is it? Not in there. What about here? Okay, a lot of charcoal. That'll do the trick nicely. Let's go ahead and... I don't know, make like 12, which is almost a stack. Perfect. Put that there. Okay. So we've got a bunch of charcoal now, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and mine this out here. Mine all of this stuff out. Good. 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 Mine all of this stuff out here too. And... Oh, we found iron again. What are the odds? We can probably make a little staircase that goes into the mountain as well, so we can get up our base a lot easier. But that might take a little bit more... Uh... <laughs> It just might take more. might take more planning than I really have facilities for in this episode. Okay. Mine all of that out. I want to get this glass floor down before we go down and start spelunking for redstone and iron and all that stuff. And the reason I want that up is because we're probably going to forget, realistically, that we haven't put down a floor in the last bit, and I don't want to die by walking off the edge. All right, excellent. Let's keep on knocking some of this out. Beautiful. That one right there can go. Perfect. All right, I don't know how far through we are, but we're probably getting to the edge of the inside cave. Not cave, the inside of the, oh, what is it called? <laughs> the topsoil, the topsoil, where we put all of our plants and such. Uh, let's go ahead and just torch this up in case something spawns in here. Mine all of this out. We can probably actually make a shield right now as well, which would be fantastic. Means we can go down spelunking without uh, too many repercussions. Go ahead and just start mining out forward here. We'll connect this up to the front of the base. I think we're probably going to pop out of the furnaces, though, to be quite honest. And if we went too far, that's not an issue whatsoever. We can always just kind of, like, plug it in with cooked stone or something like that. Make it look all natural. Good, 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 good. Mine all of this out. Nice. I don't know how far through we are. It's on the other side of here. Please, game. Tell me what's on the other side of here. 
No? <laughs> what? Oh my god. That actually jump scared me. Okay, where are we? We are not even remotely close to the end. That's a little bit of a shame. But you know, it's not so bad. It could be significantly worse. All right. I'm going to start mining out some of this dirt. Uh, and I am going to torch up this little cavern right here. We'll put that there. Now let's mine until the pickaxe breaks. And we should be able to make ourselves a couple more pickaxes out of iron. Excellent. So, which of these is done? Almost. Almost done. Uh, we can probably actually sleep now as well because the sun's going down. So let's go ahead and do that. Put that there. I don't sleep at night. Yeah, I know. What do, you, what do you think it is now? I see the moon. I literally see the moon. Allow me my slumber. Perfect. Done. All right, got him. So, coming on through. Still looking around. We need pickaxes now. How close are these to finishing? Not very close at all. Let's go ahead, make a couple of, actually let's migrate all of our crafting facilities just over to where we're actually gonna be using them. So this one can go first. Let's go ahead and just knock this down with our ax. And we probably also wanna knock down that furnace cause it's not doing anything. And we'll stick it in the stack of furnaces. All right, how wide have we got here? Uh, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Half of that is 7 plus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 1. Come back maybe 3. Knock that one out. And we're going to stick the crafting bench in that hole right there because it looks really cool. Good. So now that we've done that, we can make a bunch of, which probably empty out our inventory too, shouldn't we? Let's go ahead and come all the way back here. We need, an, we need a pickaxe to move the furnace that we're going to cook the iron in. Oh, we've got one. Perfect. Let's use this to get our other furnace over here migrated into the place that we actually need it to be. We'll grab all of that crap, all of that experience and such. Nice. Okay. So we'll place this down right here in the stack, right there. And instead of anything, oh, which probably actually put the charcoal in there. Let's go ahead and stick that in there. And we are going to cook up all of this iron that we already have. 13 iron. That is going to get us a shield, a axe, and a pickaxe. I'm pretty much done with the swords by this point. How much glass we got? We've probably got enough glass actually to potentially make. I'm, so, I'm sure we grabbed a bunch of glass. Okay, I got some glass. No, we did not. Let's place all of this glass down. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. And this one also, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna do it in threes, hopefully. I'm gonna try and do it in threes. We've already got the, th the framing, so it's not, it's not gonna be too difficult. All right, good. This is probably gonna get some people real bad vertigo as well. Oh, I love this so much, that is so cool. It's like a, it's like the, um, oh, what is it called? It's like, it's like a, one of those places that are, like, built over a mountain. Well, this is a place that's built over a mountain. But those, like, Airbnbs, where it kind of, like, gives you vertigo just to, like, be in the lounge room. Okay, that's one of them done. 64 glass blocks here. I'm actually really glad I went with the number of sand that I wanted. Okay, good. Go ahead and just put these two by two. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Good, and over here, we're gonna get another few in the sequence. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good, and from the edge here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done, awesome. Now we'll go from here, start framing out this away. Uh, we're down half the stack, which is just fine and dandy. I don't mind that whatsoever. Let's keep on keeping on. Good. We don't want to leave a gap accidentally, which is why I'm doing it in threes, so we know. Like this. This is really easy to, like, forget about. And you fall down that, you're dead. Okay, where's the rest of it? There it is. Excellent. Nice! Let's go ahead and put that there. We'll put that there and there so we don't forget about it. Keep on coming along here. Excellent. Probably don't need to crouch, honestly. I'm not going to fall down that, little t that tiny little gap, and it's not going to kill us even if we do. Okay, good. Framing all of this out. 
Now, I'm probably actually going to change my mind and put some planks down right at the end so that we can have some kind of bed. Some kind of a gigantic skylight bed. Good, good, good. And done. So we're going to need a lot of uh, glass for the roof as well because I want a skylight up top there as well. But for now, we probably have what we need. We have our needs met. All right, let's go ahead and drop that. And we'll frame here, 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 and there. We got one more plank. I'm actually gonna go ahead and stick a torch up on that too. Okay, we'll put that there. Now, which one was the center? Oh, I nailed it with that torch, perfect. So we could probably actually stick a bed at the end here. I think it might be a really, really good idea. Oh, that's so cool actually. I love this. This was such a good idea. Awesome. Okay, so this has done all of our iron. We're going to use this to make ourselves an iron pick. So we can go down south, maybe even two iron picks. Oops. Sure, I'll make two. And we also want a shield too, don't we? Which is going to be iron there. And we also need blanks here, here, and here. Yes, that is a shield. Perfect. Great. Throw that iron on the ground. It's now useless to us. Okay, how does this work? Ah, just raise it up. Perfect. That's so easy to use. Okay, now that we've got two iron picks, we should probably get ourselves a carpentry chest of some sort, made of acacia. Just put all of our building materials in while we're constructing this place. And we'll replace our stone shovel with it because that is now also useless to us. Where'd it go? Oh, I thought we put it on our hotbar, but we did not. Go ahead and stick this right here. Nice, and we'll put all of our building materials in it, I think. Excellent. Sticks. Maybe we'll keep a stack of those because they're pretty handy. But all of the building materials, we'll also keep a stack of cobble on us because it's handy as well. Glass can go in there. Sand can go in there. Acacia saplings, sure. All this crap right at the top can go up in there. This one acacia log can definitely go in there. What else we got? We got a bed. We're probably going to want to keep that. We got a shovel. Got the stone pickaxe right here. Probably want to get ourselves an iron axe for combat, don't we? Let's go ahead and do that with our sticks. Done and X shape. Perfect. And that'll replace that, I think. We'll put that iron pickaxe right there as well, so we can just kind of like hot swap them. And we've got a bunch of shovels too. The bed over here. Iron ingots. We're going to store these iron ingots, of course, right here. Oops. I halved it accidentally. Excellent. So now that we've got a shield, we should be basically ready to take on skeletons at this point. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and make a, a second bed. We want to keep one of the beds on us, don't we? But we want a second bed. I'm probably going to make a couple of these beds, actually. Maybe we'll get, like, a three-by-three three bed. All right. Uh, we actually do need some planks. One, two, three, four. I'll make a double bed for now. Uh, cache planks. All the way down here. And we also want wall up here. I didn't get enough planks, which is a little bit of a damp fart. Let's go ahead and get two more acacia planks. I thought I needed four. I needed six. Good. And we want to put those across there. And wool across there. Two white beds. Perfect. Uh, on the hotbar they go, and we're going to stick them here and here. We can't respawn here, but we can kind of like just admire the view from a big distance. Awesome. Let's go ahead and eat. We've got a lot of food. We've got a lot of resources. We've got a, a basically everything that we could possibly want for, which is awesome. Probably don't want to use this buggered iron axe, though. We, pro we probably want to uh, maybe not use the, the, the buggered iron axe. Okay, what is down here? I'm gonna go all the way down. We're done. We're done at the base. We are all kitted up and we're gonna go into the mine for the first time. Hopefully we're not gonna get ganked while we're down there because we don't want to be ganked. Good, good, good. Took a little bit of damage there, but our HP has just regenerated. Perfect. Now, I do remember there being a mine around here that wasn't flooded, that we could kind of like automatically just go into and mine out some resources, some low-hanging fruit. The chance? Maybe? I'd say. I'll take a wee look around, because we probably do want to set up some kind of farm at some point. Oh, the villagers also have another stack of wheat over here that we didn't take. Oh, just look at that. Sheep. Is this it here? Yeah, I think this big scar is actually what I was talking about. I'm going to take this guy's white wool so we can make that third bed. Uh, one of these chickens just crapped out an egg. Thank the Lord. Bunch of eggs, actually. Good. So we can kind of like a, make an automatic chicken cooker at some point, too. There's magma coming down off of that lip right there. Crazy. Okay. So we don't really want to go through that away. We probably want to go down here, right? There's another egg down there. I don't know if they can actually get out of there. That's kind of what I'm concerned about. 
Oh my god, this is very vertical. And we're already stuck. Okay, I don't like this. We're not using this as the mine. This is just a hideous scar on the land. All right, there's a, kind of like a hole in the mountain over there. I remember there being a hole in our mountain, though. Maybe we'll actually set up the mine kind of hooked up to where we are setting up our base. Could be a really good idea. Let's come around here. I'm going to go ahead and stick a torch in here because that looks like a good recipe for a, a spawn, a monster spawn. Now, where was it? It wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. It was like there was a giant round butthole. Oh, is that an enderman? That is an enderman. There's an enderman in that cave right there. I'll see if it's flooded. Maybe this is the one we go into. Uh, well, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it at all. Okay, I'm going to light it up. Hello? Anybody, anybody in here? All right, just heard an enderman pick up a block and take it. A little bit sus. Okay, this cavern is kind of uh, buggered. Honestly, it's disgusting in here. I do not like it, Sam I am. I do not like this cavern. God damn. I'm not actually seeing any enemies, though. It's very interesting. A little bit of uh, copper there, which I'm not going to use. Probably ever. Go ahead, stick that there. All right, still not really seeing any enemies. Okay, I heard a spider. It's daytime, so chances are it's probably not going to attack us. Uh, there is a hole going down there, so maybe we want to kind of like mine out this weird closed over gap. A little bit strange. Oh, there's iron over there too. Perfect. Let's go and grab that. Good. Good. Is there any iron inside of here? No, there's not. Uh, we can't really escape from here, but I am going to torch this place up like I am some form of serial arsonist. Good. I'm going to come back through here. Nice. Very nice. I'm, I, I do not like this cavern, actually. This cavern is, um, it's got bad news written all over it. Yeah, we'll torch that up. I think we may want to grab ourselves a bunch of charcoal, too. All right. Let's torch the outside of here up as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get our bed, and we're going to sleep right here on the ground in this cave. Ooh, freedom camping. That's what we're doing. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab this bed again. I'm coming all the way over here. Nice. Probably want to torch that up as well, but we could realistically just plug it up. Uh, let's go look for this butthole. This giant butthole mine that I saw in this hill at some point in my travels, because I'm pretty sure there was one. Maybe it was from this angle here. Possibly. Or maybe it was over here. It's pretty tall up here. I don't think it would be up here. There is a little bit of a scour in the wall over there. I don't really see any resources that we could filch, however. What about here? We could jump off of here. What's that? Nothing. Nothing useful. There is a butthole there. There was a horse. I thought it was a spider for a second. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this water. And we're also going to dive through here, swimming as fast as we can with a bed in our hands. Very good. Free cash money. Uh, probably want to go around this gigantic heinous waterfall. Because it looks nice, but it's uh, functionally very annoying. Okay. Come up here next. And there's a little sheepy weepy. Screw him. Screw the sheep. Don't particularly care about him. Okay, so next question. Where the hell is this mine? Oh, okay. Probably want to plug that up, actually. Yeah, let's plug that up in case it, we ever fall into it. I think that's probably going to be a really good idea. Good, good, good. Excellent. Nice. Good. There's a jungle over here. It's kind of strange. I never noticed this. Or did I? I think we may have seen it on our way over to this location. There's some bees in here. It's actually kind of nice. Maybe we'll extend the, um, the base out the back of this mountain as well. Okay. Go ahead and bust these leaves so we can have a little bit of a path through here. Ah, this is uh, death. That's death. That's death. That's absolute death. Let's not go down there. We essentially just want one location that would... Be good to set up as a, our permanent mine. Since we've already got a base around here, we may as well set up a permanent mine. But what's down here? Uh, looks like death, but with coal. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we won't get down there on account of the, uh, the death. Okay. What about this one? Giant hole in the ground, sus. Oh my god. Death. <laughs> that is certain death. I know we could, like, put a bunch of things up and around the place so that we don't fall in every single time. There's a lot of eggs around here. 
But at the same time, if we can just find a recessed hole into the side of a mountain, that would be the perfect place to just set up all of our permanent mining location. Okay, a little bit of frame drop, probably rendering in uh, more world. What the hell is this? Uh, this looks promising. What is this? It's a hole in the ground. Could be good. Could be good. But it also could not be good. All right, what do we got? Coming up and... Not really seeing a hell of a lot, to be quite honest. Except for this. Oh my god, death. Just more... Wait, is this what we plug? I'm pretty sure there's like a torch down there that we placed. Interesting. Ooh, that's just a hole. It's just a hole in the wall. Torched it up so nothing spawns in here. Or is it just a hole in the wall? I suppose we're about to find out. Uh, bust out this dirt because we can't really get through otherwise. Okay. Nothing useful whatsoever. Never mind. I completely take that back. There's iron down here. I like this. Let's go ahead and grab this iron. I was hoping for some redstone by this point, but honestly, too much iron is not too much iron. All right, we'll grab that. Got some coal right here. A bunch of coal. Excellent. Just got a recipe for a coal block for some reason. Is this our first coal? I'm sure it's not. It's not, is it? Yeah, let's get through here. I want this coal too. It's got experience, actually. Really good experience. It's not like uh, a giant chunks of experience, but it's good uh, kind of like in quantity experience. Because you can get through the coal pretty quickly, honestly. All right, that's it. Got everything I wanted in here. Now we piss off. Ah, this is actually an exit to our base. I think. I think that's our base right there. Yeah, almost definitely. If we find some acacia trees up here. Little black bunny, I like that. If we find some acacia trees up here, yep, that's definitely our base. Okay. Oh, there. That's where I wanted to set up the base. The mining base. There's another little mountain just, uh, just over here. That looks so cool. I knew there was somewhere. That looks so sick. We are going to go in there. We're going to set up a mine. And we are going to be absolutely golden. Okay, hopefully we're not going to die falling off of the edge of this area here. Although we... Okay, that is death. That is certain death. Maybe we have to go around the lava. Oh, almost just sprinted off the edge because of the double tapping W mechanic. Good, 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 good. Okay, we did it. We've made it down. What about this hole? This is a big hole. Oh, there's, uh, there's a bunch of stuff down there, actually. But it is made of gravel, so... Oh, booze, we've fallen down. Okay, what is down here? If we see any redstone, I'll go down. Whoa. Okay, that could be lucrative, but I don't really want to chance it. I'm going to bust this out, and since nothing can really get out of here, I'm going to plug it back up. Awesome. Come around here, across the, uh, the sheep scar. We'll go and check out this big mine in the hills over here. We'll see if the hills truly do have eyes, because they actually may do. If they do have eyes, we'll take them. Eyes of Ender. Okay, that is just a death trap again. Oh no, there's a way of getting out of there. I don't care anymore. Okay, up oh, there's another hole of death right here. A death and destruction hole. Well, nothing in there. I'm not bothered. What about down here? This is a weird location, isn't it? It's very hilly. I feel like that's all we've found in this world so far. It's just weird hills. Okay, good. When did you first start playing Minecraft? Are, are you new or not? Uh, I first started playing it in 2011 when it first came out. Last time I played was around about 2018, and that was Bedrock Edition, so I'm kind of like checking out the, the new stuff, all the new stuff. Well, come over here. I recognize your username. You contributed, didn't you? You were the one that um, came forward with the Gaster thing, the Gaster's theme. I've already checked it out, unfortunately. Uh, it's just not true, the Gaster's music. Weird. I usually have uh, massive memory issues, so uh, pretty strange that I remembered uh, yourself, Isaac Bluestone. I think I remember you. I hope you are the right guy, otherwise I'll be very embarrassed. Oh, this is perfect, aside from that one creeper there. But we do have this iron axe that we could probably use to drop shot him. Creeper! Okay, I'm going to go ahead and torch this. Uh, now I'm going to kind of like... Oh, he's stuck. That's funny. Is he, is he dead? Nope, not yet. I think we can kill him with fall damage, right? 
Yeah, that's it. I am the same person. I had a hunch. I had a hunch you would be. Okay, I'm going to use the axe. Whoa! Okay, he went up in smoke, which is actually fine. I don't care about that whatsoever. Uh, we just wanted him out of the way so we can torch up this area and... I don't know, start spelunking a little bit. This looks like an awesome place to set up a uh, mining facility, doesn't it? We could kind of, like, hang it from the, from the ceiling. That'd be so cool. We could, like, illuminate the whole thing so we can see what's going on at any given time as well. Uh, gonna crouch here so I can place that there. It is very deep, however. I don't know how deep this is gonna go, unfortunately. All right, let's go ahead and jam all of this down. I see some iron above us. There's also a zombie right beside us. Oh, piss off. Skeletons suck, by the way. I hate these things so much. I'm still taking damage. I thought I wasn't supposed to take damage from them. Okay, we need a bow of some sort, right? Let's go ahead and eat so we don't die. We'll regenerate all of our health. And hopefully we'll go down there. We'll be able to out DPS this goddamn skeleton. Where'd he go? Actually, I, I think he just disappeared. Weird. Very weird. Okay. All right, uh, gotta eat again. Apparently it consumes hunger to restore HP. It's just absolutely fine. I don't really care too much. Ah, good. Got a creep coming up. We're gonna be full health too. Let's try to drop shot him. Okay, our axe broke. And we lost the path that we could have taken down there. Fortunately, we're not really in a, a terribly bad spot. I think all of these creatures are actually getting stuck on the, um, on the stalagmites. Ah, oh, sucks to be that guy. Can you get back up? There's another one down there. Okay, let's try and drop shot him with the pickaxe. That's a creeper. We can try and actually blow him up with the creeper. There we go. Ah, oh, well, sucks to be you, buddy. Ah, good, they can't get back up. Nope, they can definitely get back up. Okay, good. I'm gonna try and use, like, falling damage to get them down. Alright, let's try and put this down. Good. And pickaxe, please. Drop shot. Okay, good. We've got a couple of hits off on him. We are not regenerating any HP, unfortunately. Okay, tried to do a drop shot. We are getting a little bit surrounded here, which is not ideal. Okay, one of them is dead. Two of them are dead. Perfect. Good. Let's go ahead and eat, because we are not regenerating HP. And we are golden. I'm going to take their rotting flesh, because I'm a creep, and I collect it. I'm going to make a nice... I'm going to make a nice suit out of their skins, like Hannibal Lecter. What the hell is that sound? Okay. We now have nighttime to contend with as well. But if we illuminate this kind of, like, top area here, we should be able to... Oh, piss off. Piss off, sir. Let's go up. Let's try and, like, uh, get around this guy. Because we may be able to drop shot him with our other axe right here, which does a lot of damage. And I do kind of want his bow. All right, let's go ahead and eat so that we can regenerate HP when we lose it. And now I'm going in. Nice. I blocked it. Oop. Good. And drop shot. Nice. Good. Okay, so we finally took out our first skeleton. The shield, gotta be said, absolutely phenomenal. I love it. It's a fantastic item. Torch all of this up. That's ominous. Okay. I kind of do want a nice mining facility suspended from the base. From, uh, suspended from up top. Okay, good. I'm trying to drop shot this guy. Okay, we took a hit, but I'm pretty sure he took too much hits from us. All right, sucks to be him. Excellent. What the hell did he just drop? What did he drop? An iron ingot. Wow, that is lucrative. Nice. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and continue torching all of this up because apparently it's just not good enough. Oh my god, I see why. Yes, a creeper. It's already following us. We're kind of like damned if we do, damned if we don't. There's another creeper down there. Let's just get rid of all of our torches. And then we'll gap it out of here. We probably need a ranged weapon of some sort, right? So let's go ahead now that it's night time. I'm going to sleep. Okay, there's no, there's no chance of sleep because monsters. Go ahead, go up here. And the reason we want to do this is because we want these spiders to be somewhat tame so that we can start farming them for their string. And thus we can get ourselves a better weapon, can't we? What if we put this here? Excellent. Whew. Sorry about earlier. I forgot that you have to reverse Mystery Man's toilet paper in order to hear the tiny bit of gas's theme. Well... Yes, and it, you, know, it's, it, you don't have to apologize, my dude. Like, 
if anybody has an original thought on my channel, that is exactly why I am here making uh, theories and stuff like that. It's, it's fantastic. I love seeing it because there's so much brain rot in this world that when somebody comes out and says, oh, I've seen this and uh, conflicts with what you were saying, that is apex. What I don't like is brain rot, <laughs> to be quite honest. So, like, uh, you're not going to find much skibbity toilet uh, fan theories on here, but what you are going to find is a theory about the games that chances are somebody has not put forward already. That's what I'm all about. And I have already uh, taken the... Yeah, I realized that it wasn't during the secret hunt that I did this, but I, in a different stream, I took Gaster's theme, and then I played it side by side, a one-fifth speed uh, Mystery Man Sting, right? And the two songs, they were not the same. They weren't the same notes, they weren't the same key, and they weren't the same time signatures. So there was literally nothing in common about them. In fact, the only thing that they really had in common was that they were in some variant of D, and that's it. And the melody of uh, Gaster's theme is... <laughs> it's, it's significantly different, too. It's like, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Whereas the uh, Mystery Man is one, two, three, two, two, three, 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 two, three, four, two, three. Like, it's consistent. Okay, so we know where we're going to set up our mind. That is an eyesore from a distance, isn't it? Good grief. Yuck. Ew! All right, let's actually do what we came here to do, which is not necessarily try and grab a bunch of resources, but to at least get some kind of forward operating base for a mine setup. So we'll make some more of these here, little wingle dingles that you would probably call a torch, but wingle dingles they are. They are now wingle dingles. And we'll come further down into the, re into the butthole of this place. I didn't really see any spiders when I looked outside, so we're not going to find any necessarily. There's a couple of zombies down here. That is an Enderman. Okay. A little bit nuclear. Excuse me, sir. I'm just going to um, put that there. Oh, my God. That is a sheer drop as well. Okay, that's not good. Uh, how the hell are we going to get down here? I don't really want to have to shave out the sides of this mountain face to get down there. But I will do it if there is literally no other option. Oh, there's another exit. Nice. Perfect. We've already learned something new about this mine. Put that there. And of course, all the way over here. Boop. Great. Awesome. Let's go ahead, jump up here. We've got pretty good parkouring skills in Minecraft, gotta be said. Probably better than most. So it's not really the falls that are really gonna take us out anymore. It's, it's probably more the actual arrows and bollocks of this game that's gonna kill us. I do like these little... A block missing right here in the stalagmite. Let's go ahead and put a torch on it. Or we could just fall off of the uh, ledge and, and die a stupid death. There we go. Oh, no! No, not like this! Piss off! Piss off, sir! Okay, our only chance is to get up this hill, right? And to get out into the sunlight. Okay. No! Run! Run me! Is that it? Oh, sunlight. Oh, sweet, sweet Lord. Oh, we survived. Oh, that was so close. Rip, ha <laughs> ha, a little bit too early, my dude. He was afraid of the bees. <laughs> I think we just got hunted down by Nicholas. Oh my God. Oh, that actually just scared the crap out of me. Oh, no! Oh, okay, and so rests in peace, Pooper 3. All right, I've got a new strategy. Basically, we're going to set up a mine as soon as possible in this next world, and then we're going to try and rush all of the early game stuff, right? We're not going to worry too much about getting a full base set up. We are just going to worry about getting everything out of the way, and that should be fine, right? Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, I'm not going anywhere, so don't worry. I'm going to do an outro for the VODs that I record. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here. 
you're going to find a playlist for the Minecraft series that I've made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find yourself a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community personally. And until I make the next video, you'll, you'll catch the next stream. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!